Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video to the channel and welcome back to the bond account so it's been a little bit of a while since the bond account has done a money making video so it's now going to bring its triumphant return with a fruit bat money making video now we've gone over the fruit bats before we've gone over the fruit bat numerous times um, and we've gone over the benefits of using a fruit bat as well so what you need is a fruit bat pouch as well as some fruitful scrolls fruit bat pouch you only need level 69 summoning um, and basically what we're going to be doing in this video is doing multiple, maybe two different versions of skilling and showing you that you can use your fruit bat alongside that. Now, what's really important is that you put your scrolls in your fruit bat and then you also change the um, firing rate is for your fruit bat. So if you click on your something familiar with the cog and you set it to one, this means that your fruit bat will make the fruit fall as quick as possible whenever it's got the available energy to do it. So what we're looking to do, and once we've got rid of all our energy, so we'll get rid of all our energy in one big go, is to do a skill beside this as well, which the fruit bat won't interrupt. So what we're going to be doing is actually doing another money making method. So we're going to tie this with something else and we're actually going to be making summoning potions. Now summoning potions is spirit weeds and cockatrice eggs and are actually a very decent way to make some profit. Now what I would highly suggest is for you to be using a portable alongside it and also if you've got one, a brooch. Now I have actually spent some money on this can and bought a brooch, but I don't know if I've got any portable. Yes, I have. Uh, first of all as well we just need to collect all of our fruit and having it on area loot as well will help that as well so the fruit bat has done its work we need to get a portable well throw the well down and then pretty much get set up from there so we're using the brute in the well and then what we're going to be doing in the meantime as well is whenever we have the ability to we will fire off our fruitful scrolls while making these herbal potions as well now what i would say is when making these herbal potions the portable well and the brooch are really nice, but one thing which is really good, especially with cockatrice eggs, which are a little bit expensive for a secondary, you can use the Dungeoneering uh, scroll, which does save on herbal or secondaries as well. But basically all you do, and um, once you're set up for it as well, once you've clicked that well the first time and you've got the ability, you can basically just drag the unfinished potion onto your action bar, and just make sure we've got the benefit, and then you can just click one then, and then one to rebank as well with that. And basically what's going to happen is whenever your fruit bat has the ability to do it, it's going to fly off and go and get the scroll. The spirit cape, if you've got the level 2 from Dungeoneering, is really good because it's going to reduce the cost of your actual scroll. But if you wait to the end of your invo, just press space and then you can just basically set up from there as well. You don't need to use the preset button, you can just click load last preset um, and then go from there. But just get into a rhythm with it as well and you will make some profit. So summoning potions are actually pretty decent in terms of profit for herb there. Probably outperforming all the supers at the minute. And I think roughly for um, per hour, they're going to be making about 13 to 14 more profit. And just making them. Now, there is one problem with summoning potions is that they are very niche. And they are sort of limited on where your market is. Whereas with supers, you've got the ability for them to all go into overloads. Summoning potions, not so much. Now, one thing I would say as well is because people are starting to pick up to the ability of the fruit bat and like where the fruit bat can make money, you might struggle to buy fruit bat pouches at a decent price now one thing i would highly suggest buy them over time buy them for a long sort of period and you will be able to buy them for a decent price but if you are struggling and um, i'm pretty sure that everyone has some green charms in their bank if you don't go to the arch glacial you can actually make some pretty decent money making fruit bat pouches um which i'm debating doing it on this account because i've still got about 600 of the old uh, green charms left i did make some abyssal lurkers the other day which, which i did do a thousand of which made a little bit of profit off but I've spent roughly about 25k for a fruit bat pouch, which I know I've just been merged because I've just been impatient to go and do the video. But it just shows you that people like me will be willing to pay that price as well. Now, one thing I would say is papayas have gone down a little bit compared to their absolute peak. But 12k for a papaya is absolutely stupid in terms of price. Like, we've nearly got 20 papayas, which is an additional 240k just doing what we would have been doing anyway, which was making potions. The only downside is you do have to buy your own wells if you want to do it on a slightly quieter world, which I would suggest because your papayas are going to be flying everywhere. But in the grand scheme of things, it's one papaya per well you're going to be buying, so it really isn't that bad. But uh, it's just a whole different dynamic on skilling at the minute. They're that expensive that I would try and include like your fruit bat familiar in any form of skilling you can, like being able to do it alongside Herblore is going to be pretty huge for making profits as well. Now, if you do have anything like protein crafting or arrows, I did do the video earlier on doing it at um, Cathabee. If you do the Cathabee, you don't have to like bank or anything. You don't have to use magic note paper. Just tr sort of use them and note them on the tool leprechaun and they will note them because it's a fruit which is coming from um, a tree. 
it will note it. But all you need to do though is just make sure to keep picking the fruit up. Then when you bank it, it can go straight into your bank as well. And over the time, it will rack it up. But the most important thing is though, you just need to be careful what the price you're paying for the fruitful scrolls. Make sure you're not getting ripped off. Make sure they're a sort of realistic, decent price. If you can get the spirit cape, the spirit cape will be your best friend because you're going to be using less charges, which means that your fruit back can be more productive per hour as well. I haven't got it yet. I don't think I've got the levels for it. So that's why I don't use it or I don't have it. But if I did, I would definitely be wielding it for this as well because it will just mean that your fruit bat will be giving you more papaya per hour. So our well has vanished, which means we're going to finish this once we've just finished spamming all our fruit falls. So what I'm going to do now is just dismiss this fruit bat because we're going to go for a different one as well. So it's not just how well this works. We have an issue like uh, we can just check the prices. We've only made 180 summoning potions, which in a, is not really a lot. We've not really done a lot, but the extra profit we made from all this fruit, admittedly most of the fruit won't sell, but if it's there, you may as well bank it. We've made an additional 380k on top of the potions. We've probably made more than actually the potions themselves, which is a bit mad when you think about it. So the next one I'm interested in because it brings a bit of GP to a skill which kind of needs it. So we're going to go and woodcut some ivy and we're going to take a little fruit bat with us. And we're going to see if this actually stops us doing woodcutting. And also, I just had a bit of a brainwave about something else as well. Now, I've been told that you can do this method while doing a ritual. I don't think it's to play, personally. But we can go and try it and see if we can do it. And then that'll be three methods in this video we've gone through where you can actually use a fruit bat pouch in conjunction with another skill. So, same again. We summon our fruit bat. We put our scrolls in. I believe the save rate is the same as what it was before. Yeah, so he's going off at a right speed. But as you see, we are using these summoning scrolls while still woodcutting. Now, the only problem we've got here is that we're going to have to note them unless we can find a spot near a tall leprechaun or a bank. To be fair, this isn't too bad. We've got uh, the leprechaun there. Do I really want to keep running back and forward with it? Mm, don't know. Um, what you could look at doing, can you just drop them? Or you could just sit here and just pick the papayas and then just note the papayas. That's an, that's an option, yeah, you could definitely do that. But the fact is, is that this works while doing woodcutting, which is just crazy. Don't get me wrong, some perfecting on where you do some woodcutting is definitely essential. You do need to pick a spot where you've got either a leprechaun or a bank close, or you can just pick out from the area loot, just pick the papayas out. Or if you want to, just note everything. Um, you'll lose a little bit of profit from there, but you're not messing around with stuff. You are continuously woodcutting, which is what you're trying to do. We're trying to use the fruit bat alongside what we're going to be doing anyway. So the final one, though, is rituals. And I'm going to try and do this quick because the video is getting on a bit and I don't want to uh, take longer than needed. And I forgot a fruit bat, which is even better. And that's what happens when you rush. Right, so let's get the fruit bat summoned. We need to repair that first. Now, I actually do need to do a stint of um, the old rituals. So if I summon a fruit bat, and if we store that, and it actually works. So you can see we are actually doing a ritual now, and the fruit bat is going absolutely ham, dropping the papayas. Now, the same problem with woodcutting is what's happening here, is we're not close to a bank, so we are going to have to either use magic note paper or find a way for us to get the banking or the storing of the fruit sorted um but as you can see like you could pretty much have this going during your whole ritual and get the fruit thrown to all your sides and then once the ritual is done just loot notes and then continue which is a crazy way of thinking like you can do that during a ritual it's definitely why like a fruit bat now should be considered part of skilling if you wanted to to make some gp we've made money chopping ivy we've made extra money doing herb law and we've made extra money doing rituals whether you're doing rituals for XP, whether you're doing rituals for money, you can now make a little bit more profit if you include your fruit bat familiar. Like I say, all you need is level 69 summoning. Doesn't really take that long. You can go watch Glacier and get that incredibly quick. But it's crazy like this is now a viable way to make more money with skilling. And as you see, we just click loot all. We just click the magic note paper. Note the papayas, note the rest. That's your only little tricky thing is what do you want to do with these? Now, you can put them on your um, action bar. Right click and drop, and I don't think that will stop your transaction, but viable option for all sorts of skilling now. So if you find other ways to use this familiar skilling, let me know in the comments because I'm really interested to see what we can do with the fruit bat. If there's any way we could push the fruit bat to extreme and uh, see how much profit we can make with it. 
In terms of just doing the woodcutting and the um, ritual, we've added a total of 270k. It's scary, like the profit you can make with this uh, familiar. It's crazy. But uh, that's going to be the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please make sure to leave me a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next video.